Good morning. This is me Nafisa. Today I would be sharing health benefits of pyridoxine or health benefits of vitamin B6 during pregnancy. During pregnancy, pyridoxine helps in maintaining good health as pyridoxine provides many health benefits. What will be the first health benefit? Giving pyridoxine prevents and treats pyridoxine deficiency. Two reasons for deficiency of pyridoxine is increased need or increased demand during pregnancy and lactation. Pregnant women may also have pyridoxine deficiency because of nausea and vomiting during pregnancy. Kindly note, for easy understanding, I have mentioned in pink cell color what is the opposite effect of that particular health benefit when there is a deficiency of pyridoxine. Pyridoxin breaks down or metabolizes proteins, fats and carbohydrates that are taken from the food, hence helps in digestion of the food. If a pregnant woman does not take pyridoxin, then there will be deficiency of pyridoxin. If there is a deficiency of pyridoxin, then what will happen? What is the opposite of digestion of food? Problems in digestion. Hence, pyridoxin deficiency causes problems in digestion. Vitamin B6 helps both pregnant lady and the baby to metabolize proteins and carbohydrates. Just now we have learnt that pyridoxin helps in digestion of the food. So where is vitamin B6 or pyridoxin acting? On the GI tract. If food is digested then food will move from the stomach to the small intestine and hence there will be no nausea and vomiting. Pyridoxin is used for the treatment of nausea and vomiting in pregnancy also called as NVP or morning sickness. Pyridoxin is important during pregnancy, especially in the first trimester, because if food is digested, then pregnant woman will not feel like nausea and vomiting. If there is pyridoxin deficiency, then can lead to nausea and vomiting during pregnancy. Pyridoxin has a role in neurotransmitters formation. Neurotransmitters are involved in nausea and vomiting. So, vitamin B6 helps in NVP. Studies suggest that pyridoxin is effective in treating morning sickness, even in durations of less than one week. The recommended dose of pyridoxin for NVP is 10 to 25 mg orally every 6 to 8 hours. That is 10 to 25 mg 3 or 4 times a day. Although pyridoxin is a very safe vitamin to consume, Doctors recommend the maximum dose of pyridoxin should not exceed 100 mg per day in supplements alone. During pregnancy, pyridoxin helps pregnant women maintain healthy blood glucose levels. How? Pyridoxin helps in tryptophan metabolism. During pregnancy, if there is pyridoxin deficiency, then this disturbs the tryptophan metabolism. What is the opposite of healthy blood glucose level? Diabetes. Diabetes diagnosed for the first time during pregnancy, that is gestation, is called as gestational diabetes. Soon after delivery, blood sugar comes back or resumes back to normal. This is very important health benefit in pregnancy. Pyridoxin helps in tryptophan metabolism and hence reduces chances of gestational diabetes or in easy words can also say as pyridoxin helps in tryptophan metabolism and hence helps maintain healthy blood glucose levels. Pyridoxin deficiency in pregnancy will disturb tryptophan metabolism which causes gestational diabetes. In order to understand the next health benefit, let's start from the basics. When we eat food, the proteins in the food is digested or broken down in our body to form amino acids. One of the amino acid is homocysteine. Remember, homocysteine is not found in foods, but homocysteine is formed in our body. Pyridoxin plays an important role in the conversion of homocysteine to cysteine. Therefore, homocysteine is in low levels in the blood. Homocysteine in low levels is not harmful. If there is a deficiency of pyridoxin, then homocysteine is not converted to cysteine. Hence, homocysteine increases in blood. Hence, results in high levels of homocysteine in the blood. 
high levels of homocysteine in blood is dangerous this is easy to understand pyridoxine breaks down homocysteine to cysteine hence if there is a deficiency of pyridoxine it will cause increase in homocysteine levels in the blood high levels of homocysteine in blood high levels in hindi is called as asadharan ya atyadhik level another word in english is hyper high levels of what high levels of homocysteine where is high levels of homocysteine present in the body high levels of homocysteine is there in the blood blood in medicine is also called as emia so when there is high levels of homocysteine in the blood this condition is called as hyperhomocysteinemia pronounce it as high per homo cis tin e mia high per homocystin emia hyper homocystinemia if a pregnant woman has increased homocystine levels in the blood for a very long time then this may increase the risk for miscarriage repeated miscarriage preeclampsia preterm delivery or preterm labor preterm birth low birth weight intrauterine fetal death so can i call all of these as pregnancy complications these pregnancy complications may lead to pregnancy loss pyridoxin supplementation is effective and safe in reducing homocysteine levels in the blood therefore reduces risk of pregnancy complications and hence reduces pregnancy loss pyridoxin aids in pregnancy helps prevent low birth weight how pyridoxin will help in the conversion of homocysteine to cysteine so less homocysteine therefore decreases the risk of hyperhomocysteinemia hence reduces chances of pregnancy complications one of the pregnancy complication is low birth weight hence pyridoxin reduces chances of low birth weight low birth weight is birth weight less than 2.5 grams pyridoxin helps in heme synthesis heme is made up of iron and globinous protein so together heme plus globin forms hemoglobin hemoglobin helps in the formation of rbcs hence pyridoxin is necessary for rbc formation rbcs formation is required both for the mother and the fetus because rbcs are formed so blood formation takes place if there is pyridoxin deficiency then heme formed is less if heme formed is less then hemoglobin formed is less therefore rbc's formation is less if there is less blood this condition is called as anemia we have learnt in school that rbc's carries oxygen to all the cells of the body if there is pyridoxin deficiency then less oxygen to the cells of the body hence symptoms like breathlessness and fatigue are experienced nervous system is made up of nervous tissue nervous tissue is made up of nervous cells or nerve cells each nerve cell is called as neuron neuron is exactly like the palm of our hand healthy nerve cell or healthy neuron is covered with the help of myelin sheath hence myelin sheath protects the nerves nerves is also called as neuro so can i say as neuro protection who makes myelin sheath pyridoxin can i say pyridoxin helps in neuroprotection because of pyridoxin deficiency myelin sheath is not formed what is the opposite of neuroprotection break up the word nerves are protected neuroprotection means nerves are protected so what is the opposite nerves are protected is neuroprotection so opposite of neuroprotection is nerve damage nerves is also called as neuro and damage is called as pathy so nerve damage is called as neuropathy because of myelin sheath there is proper transmission of signals within the brain hence helps in healthy functioning of the nervous system or improves overall brain health pyridoxin deficiency results in deterioration of the brain function vitamin b6 helps in proper functioning of the nervous system because pyridoxin helps in neurotransmitter synthesis 
and also in myelin synthesis shown here a healthy nerve cell or a healthy neuron in which myelin sheath is formed therefore neuroprotection or nerves are protected also i have shown a damaged nerve cell or a damaged neuron in which myelin sheath is not formed therefore nerves are damaged that is neuropathy both vitamin b6 and vitamin b12 offers neuroprotection both vitamin b6 and vitamin b12 helps in myelin synthesis therefore decreases painful nerve sensations therefore decreases burning sensation numbness loss of sensation and muscle cramps pyridoxine is making neurotransmitters like gaba dopamine and serotonin neurotransmitters is essential for the development of baby's brain and keeping the nervous system healthy hence pyridoxine in pregnancy is essential for the development of the baby's brain and nervous system throughout each week of pregnancy and thus plays a critical role in the development of the baby if there is deficiency of pyridoxine then neurotransmitters like gaba is not formed resulting in developmental delays and seizures summarizing in one page all the health benefits of pyridoxine during pregnancy and if there is a deficiency of pyridoxine then it will result into what thank you so much